What up, peeps? Welcome to today's vlog. So we used to do a series of videos called What Sold on eBay. I eventually moved that to our thrifting channel, to the Thrift for eBay YouTube channel, and we just stopped doing it. But I have a bunch of orders to pull for this morning so that we can do some shipping. So we're going to kind of revive it just a little bit this one time. $10. $14. $13. $14. I just listed this, $18, $20, this whole stack of music-related laser discs. I also just listed this, $40, $15, $30, just listed this, $25. This lot of vintage Star Wars parts and pieces and random stuff sold for $54. This one is factory sealed, sold for $76. And there's one $15 electric blanket, like, temperature control thing that I cannot find. And there was only one listed. It's not in the tub with the rest of them. I looked at all the other tubs. I can't find it. I texted Jess to ask her. I don't know where it is. We just got a package in the mail. There's two of these. One for me, one for the store. And I'm going to show Ariel because I think she's going to love it. Are you ready? Show me, show me. Are you ready? Show me now. Look at this little freak. <laughs> He's so cool. How many smackaroos does that guy send you back? <laughs> I don't know. Oh my goodness. You don't know? I haven't seen the labyrinth since I was young. What? I don't even remember what this guy's name is. Jim What's Henson. his name? Jim Henson? <laughs> I don't remember his name, but... I think He's it towards might the be beginning of the labyrinth. Hello, worm. And that's what he says. He's like, hello. <laughs> yeah, and then she's like looking around and he's like, down here. Hello. <laughs> the box literally says, hello, worm statue, one to one. And then. So this is what he is in real life. Yes. And this is a life size resin statue. And then. Is it resin? Feels like it. And then he's like, She's like, do you know how to get through this labyrinth? And he's like, who, me? Nah, just a worm. <laughs> and then he's like, why don't you come inside? Meet the missus. <laughs> and then he's like, she's like, no, I need to get to the castle. And then she goes down one way. And he's like, oh, poor girl. Should have gone down the other way. She would have went straight to that castle. <laughs> so are we going <laughs> to recite the entire labyrinth movie that way? If I have to, from memory. That's the whole... Since it is my favorite movie. It's beautiful. He's going to go right next to Hoggle, oh. who I haven't put up yet. He's still in his box. But this is awesome. When are we getting David Bowie? Dance, magic dance. <laughs> so we just had a regular customer come in, and he's a super, super nice guy. Um, he's been coming in for a long time, I think since like we first opened. He's bought a lot of toys from us, but he's currently doing a trade-in of a big Japanese collection. Um, he's got Game Boy stuff, some Super Famicom, PSP, Vita, and Japanese Saturn that he's trading in. But he also had this. Donkey Kong Country 2 colored pencil set. This is made by Mitsubishi, <laughs> which seems odd to me, but this thing is brand new. Let me open it up and show you guys. So I'm sorry about the noise of the resurfacer that's going, but here is the front of it which it's called Super Donkey Kong 2 in Japan, but it's Donkey Kong Country 2 in North America. The back is blank and it's got Mitsubishi colored pencil and a, a UPC code. And you can push on the corners to like unhinge it. And there you go. They are all brand new, unused. The eraser is still like sealed in the plastic there. This thing is awesome. I don't really care about colored pencils too much, but Donkey Kong Country 2 is my favorite Super Nintendo game. And this thing is in beautiful condition. A little scratched on the back, but who cares? This thing's awesome. And as you guys may or may not know, I do have like a little glass case at home in my game room that has little tiered shelves. And the very top shelf is all Donkey Kong stuff. Because Donkey Kong, well, Donkey Kong Country is one of my favorite uh, series of all time. This is my favorite Super Nintendo game. And uh, so I have that whole shelf dedicated to Donkey Kong. This will be really cool to try to fit in there. I'm not sure if it will. I might have to make a second Donkey Kong shelf, but 
either way, this is definitely coming home with me. This is super cool and very unique. Never seen anything like this. Did this tray get finished? Yep. <gasps> so I'm texting my meow. <gasps> Your meow. My meow. Hey meow. <laughs> um, anyway, yeah. Um, I wanted to show you guys one of the things um, in this tray because I thought it was silly. This is all the Japanese stuff. Yes. So, so we got all of these Saturn games. Yeah. That's all pretty cool. Um, but this one is, um, it's a virtual fighter game with a stylish man on the front, Jackie Bryant. This is just um, music and pictures of Jackie Bryant. Um, <laughs> you, you can do karaoke with uh, his pictures in the background. Um, and it's just like cool pictures of him and it's not even worth like a dollar in Japan, I guess. So it's not even in, a game. <laughs> yeah, it's not even a game. It's just a little. Let me see the back again where it says CG and music. Yes. <laughs> um, and there are so many of these um, with all of the other different characters. Um, and I just you don't find stuff like that. Like in America, there's not like Mario CG pictures. It's just a CD <laughs> where you can look at cool pictures of Mario posing next to a car and playing pool. <laughs> and why isn't there? I don't why know. aren't there? I need pictures of Mario. Give me pictures of Mario. Yeah, why there aren't? Why there aren't? No is. We close in seven minutes. We do? I actually, um, 30 minutes ago, I tried to close the store. And it's because I heard a customer say, they close in a few minutes, we gotta go. And I was like, oh, we close in a few minutes, so we gotta go. <laughs> that was not the case. How much is a few minutes to you, Cooper? Three. Three? Three. A few minutes? A couple is two. Yeah, a couple minutes, a uh, few minutes, yeah, that's like three to four. And then several is like seven. How much is like minutes. a baker's dozen minutes, though? <laughs> Thirteen. Oh, yeah. <laughs> What's various minutes? Various minutes. That's many different We close in various minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Those minutes just feel different, you know? <laughs> and I was like, I was glad I was there for that. Good. I've made that mistake. Good. Hi. Good. Good. I have a question for you, Cooper. Um, what would your mundane supervillain power be? I would be able to shoot staples. Oh my god. god. Stop! <laughs> See, they didn't even they didn't even make it to you. I have the most evil one. Are you ready? It's the power to turn anybody's socks wet. Wait, that's <laughs> your superpower? Or no, supervillain. Super supervillain power. Super villain power. Yeah, yesterday I asked everybody... I asked everybody, what's your mundane superpower? Because I want to be able to sh have Sharpies come out of my knuckles so that I can draw whenever I want. Oh, and I thought you said fingertips yesterday. Well, fingertips, but, but I thought... I, is pretty fun. I thought knuckles, but, you know, like, I guess that would be awkward. So, yeah, I would want it to be my fingertips. What my superpower, my mundane superpower would be is if I could just always, like, locate my keys. But I was telling Ariel, I was like, that can go in, like, that can go in two ways. Either one, I can just like always magically find my keys, or two, I just practice putting my keys in the same spot every day, and then boom, that's my magical. Like player. me. You can, like Cooper. Because when I go home, my keys go in the same spot with my wallet, and Abby's keys go wherever. <laughs> I know. <the> <laughs> Sometimes day, like, they're in the bathroom, they're in the kitchen, they're in the living room, they're in the bedroom. Yesterday, I was like, wait guys, we can't leave. I have to find my keys. And Abby goes, I saw a random pair of keys in the break room in a really weird spot, and he like went and grabbed them. I was like, yep, those are my keys. <laughs> Good morning, guys. It is the next day. I'm super tired and out of breath already. Um, we are leaving the current store. It's 10.23 a.m., so we open at noon. Heading to the new store. I've been, uh, Colton and I have been unloading stuff from a truck um, we got our first delivery from Uline. So this is like shelving, grid wall, a bunch of other like random things that we've ordered for the new store and first delivery today. So we're having everything delivered to the new store because we can store it there until we're actually ready to start setting stuff up. We do not have room to store that stuff here. Uh, glass cases, all that kind of stuff. So I'm a little out of breath by doing that. I ran back to the store to grab the little furniture dolly things that we have. It's gonna make things a lot quicker. So I'm gonna head back now. Abby is gonna be joining Colton and I to help. And uh, we can't really film too much until we're in the building. 
we're not trying to you know give away the exact spot just yet but we are getting closer so as soon as um the contractors are done doing their stuff and we have uh our security and stuff up we'll let you guys know exactly where it is but man it is so awesome to begin working on this stuff and it's a lot of fun also to be clear i'm not out of breath because of helping Colton move stuff. I'm out of breath because we just loaded some stuff into Abby's car <laughs> and uh, it was heavy stuff. All right guys, so the electricians are still here. Probably hear their music playing, but this is where we're allowed to store our stuff. All right guys, so the electricians are in here doing their thing. Uh, this is the room that we've been given permission to use to store our stuff. And this is everything that we were able to move in today. This is our gate for the front for the front windows. We have all these big boxes here and here and there. These are all grid wall. We have our air, airspeed mini packer. This is a machine that basically makes bubble wrap. It's not quite bubble wrap. It's like, it's like they call it like, like mini bubble air pillows or something, but basically we're gonna be able to make pack. And so we don't have to use as much bubble wrap all the time. We have a bunch of other stuff in here, other shelving units and stuff like that. Um, these little Ikea, uh, whatever those are called. <laughs> we have some stuff here. So this is everything that we moved in today. This is the first delivery that we've gotten. And uh, yeah, pretty, pretty heavy stuff. <laughs> Took about an hour to get it all in. Um, that gate is the heaviest thing, that, that thing sucks. But it's, it's all in here now. It's all, all beginning. The electricians just uh, took their lunch break, but as you can see, things are happening. They have their, they have like these, I think these are called conduits, I think. Could be wrong, but they have their, all their stuff going. They're, um, they're working on all the power and the outlets, as you can see, running stuff. They just did this. So wherever this cable is going, I don't even know, but it comes down, it's going through the wall, outlet here, and then they gotta run power to these and stuff. So, excuse me, one thing I didn't realize, which is really cool, is that they're going to run ethernet for us to these spots. I thought we had to find someone that does like networking or whatever to like do this, but it's not necessary. So they're gonna have ethernet here, here, and at the ones down there. Whoa. And then they're going to run them through the conduit and into our back room. And our modem is gonna be somewhere right here. So the, they're gonna have like a little hole in the wall where the all the ethernet cables come out of. And then once Comcast installs our modem, we just plug them all in and we're good to go. And then there'll be ethernet ports in the floor right there for our computers, which is gonna be awesome. Finally back at the store, a little after 2 p.m. <laughs> and I'm about to take pictures of all the trade-ins and stuff from yesterday so we can get these posted on our social media. So we sold a pretty expensive thing on eBay last night. It is the Bully Special Edition Factory Sealed. We had this in the store for a long time. It was on the website, of course. Took it to PRGE, still didn't sell, so we decided to post it on eBay. But we also sold something else. Oh, I see it. These are like the lots that we have, so just bundles of toys together. And these right here, these are little like monster figures that you get from like a little blind box thing. Apparently, this one in the middle here is one of the rare ones. These three, I found these at the Goodwill outlet. <laughs> these three together sold for a hundred dollars that's crazy that sold for seven hundred dollars though pretty good couple days on ebay we also have a twenty dollar remote and a thirteen dollar game shark uh, memory card thing for ps1 you know you've made it when you're a worm with bodyguards what's up guys yeah so this guy's name is jeff Hi, Jeff. Can you move your visor? No? Okay. I'm, God, I'm sorry. Stop. <laughs> don't, don't be like that, Jeff. Okay? Jeez. Um, and this one's Garth. 
Garth Vader. He gets confused for Darth Vader a lot. Uh, anyway, it's trade time. We've got some cool stuff here. Um, this one actually got traded in last minute by one of the one of our good regulars. I love him. Hi, Tyler. You're great. Um, and that is all sitting on top of a vintage VHS machine, which means virtual happy sounds. What does VHS stand for? Oh, I, you know. Oh, it's a it's a VCR which is a video camera r raccoon. Oh, that's not even good. I can't even. <gasps> Darth Vader! I didn't know he was here the whole time. Okay, oh my God, I'm so sorry, you guys. It's been a weird day with some weird uh, incidences. Okay, I do wanna talk about this. This is the only two cart uh, PlayStation Vita game. It is a Gundam game. Um, and this is the uh, only the one card. Um, the other card comes in its own little box that looks like this one, but it is black instead of white. Um, that card, you use it to download and card one is the play cart. Um, but the person who brought that in didn't have the other one. He just had a bunch of, well, he actually had all of these. Um, the Japanese um, PSP games, which a couple of them sold, which I honestly kind of thought they were just going to sit. So that's pretty cool. Um, some Super Famicom games from that same guy. Um, these actually were not part of that, but these are also some... Uh, is this Super Famicom? Yeah, the Super Famicom boxes are actually really cool. So, um, What's down here? Oh, um, a Japanese e-reader plus... I have no idea if you can use it with um, American cards. Uh, that sort of thing. Those uh, peripherals for the Nintendo uh, consoles from back in the day are a little bit of a mystery to me because, uh, you know, you know, your parents can't afford them so you don't get to have the cool up-to-date stuff and all of your friends have them and they're like, oh, oh, you don't have the link cable? You can't trade Pokemon? That's the whole point of Pokemon. Why do you even own a Game Boy? And then you cry and you run home and, and you you know you're grateful for your parents because you know they they buy you video games and and you just uh you know but you want to be cool like your like your mean friends. Anyway, um, that never happened to me or anything. Uh, I just you know I never owned any uh, cool peripherals. Um, what are they yelling about? Oh, it's X Men and Street Fighter. They look like they could be brothers. Look at those teeth. It's all it's like, what if your teeth were that big in your mouth? All right, what do we got over here? Well, Alone in the Dark, One-Eyed Jack's Revenge. <laughs> Ooh, the elusive detective, Edward Conby. I, you know, I really like whodunit stuff, detective stuff, and I wish that I played more. This isn't supposed to be like that. No! Sorry. Anyway, do you think they noticed? Um, some Switch games. Nino Ku. There was that photo thing I was telling you guys about earlier. And I gotta talk about this. Look at how she's posed. Uh, you know, it just doesn't look comfortable to have your arm like that, but I guess she is like a robot lady. Look at her. Hmm. Danger around every curve. <laughs> yeah, if you're curving your arm like that, you're bound to end up in some danger with your carpal tunnels. But yeah, and then we just got these Switch games in today. Um, Arcade Game Zone and Paleo Pines. Paleo Pines in particular, I was really excited about when I saw it. Um, I guess it's getting middling reviews, but it still looks like a really cute, cozy game, especially if you're a dinosaur enthusiast, or if your young child is a dinosaur enthusiast. All right, I think I covered everything here. Um, you know, sorry, pretty boring clip, I guess, but, uh, you know. What did you think, Jeff? <laughs> Don't look at me like that. God, you're such a jerk, Jeff.
I can't, I can't handle you right now. I'm, I'm gonna go home. Oh yeah, and Sonic's here too. What is this? Uh, this is stuff. This is a Looks like a pretty awesome collection that was dropped off by a character. Yes, uh -huh. he was something. He was definitely something. I don't know what, but he was something. <laughs> Did you have fun talking to him? Oh, I had so much fun. Good. Yeah. Uh, he came in here with stories. I shouldn't share them. No. Um, but uh, he was like about ready to go. And I went, yeah, oh. I, I'd read. <laughs> <laughs> I'd read your memoirs. When are they coming out? And, and I'm he... <laughs> like right beside her. And I was just like. It opened the floodgates. I was just like. And then, and then he was in here for. How 40, long did he talk for? Like an hour, 45 minutes. I don't know. He was super nice though. He's very nice. He was like. He was, he, was, he was unique. That's yeah. all we have to say. Basically, Why? I'm royalty, okay? <laughs> yeah, he did say that Cooper looked like uh, looked like he had royal blood. So He knows what he's talking about. King Koopa. So, we, we've been new. He dropped off a gigantic trade, and we told him it's going to take a couple days. Yeah. Abby's working on the factory sealed portion. So we have this stuff. What are you doing? Oh, no, nothing. And then there's all of those. And... There's more than just that. Where's the rest? Oh, all this stuff. Look at all these sealed PS2 games. There's some good stuff mixed in. Stuff also, PS1. Over here? Oh, yeah. This tub of random stuff. All these. And then I am working on the not sealed stuff. So we have this box. We have these games, which I'm still doing. We have these two tubs of strategy guides. And then these are the ones that I have worked on so far. It's going to take us... I mean, we can maybe finish it today because it's been super, super slow. It's just the three of us, too. Slow? Are but... you kidding? Look at how busy we are. Hi. Hi. But... Gerald. Nice to see you again. <laughs> but we might get it done today. But it, we told him it would probably take a couple days. So, But, yeah, overall, pretty cool stuff. I like that sealed scar face in there. There's a, there's a bad word on here. Run like H-E double hockey sticks. Run like he. Who? He. King Koopa. Oh, him? Yeah. From the Powerpuff Girls? Yeah. Be careful, Abby. Okay? Him is freaking watching you. <laughs> we took in a few Pokemon cards today. These ones have not been priced out yet. They're not in our inventory yet, but I did want to show them to you guys since they came in today. Uh, we just made a pretty quick like manual offer and and just paid for them so these will probably get entered i'm assuming sometime tomorrow um they're not in the best condition but they're not bad i had to pass on the rest of the binder unfortunately because they they had some creasing and stuff like that which sucked because there was some really cool cards in there but as you can see we still got some cool ones all right ariel hi instead of question of the day we're gonna do your two truths and a lie um my life is so boring why do you want me to do this because everyone has to do it okay hit us with the first one okay the first one is i dropped out of art college uh the second one is i've had organs removed and the third one is i know four languages Ooh. i think the organ one is a lie yeah yeah you think i haven't had organs removed Mm -hmm. Why are you making me question it? I actually think also I, think that's the lie. <laughs> you think I have not had organs removed from my body? Well, it depends because, like, a lot of people have, like, their tonsils removed or something like that. Is so that an organ? It's an inside part of your body, I think so. Your skin's an organ. Well, I don't want to be, like, a huge jerk and be like, you dropped out of high school. Or you, oh, no, wait. I dropped I, out of art college. You, yeah. I don't know. I think it's the organ one. I think it's Oregon one. That's our guess. So you guys put your guesses in the comments down below. And in the next video, Ariel will reveal the truth. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you. Bye. Bye.